is. And I would like today to ask that we begin to dream about and plan for a different world, a fairer world. A world of happier men and happier women who are truer to themselves. And this is how to start. We must raise our daughters differently. We must also raise our sons differently. We do a great disservice to boys in how we raise them. We stifle the humanity of boys. We define masculinity in a very narrow way. Masculinity becomes this hard, small cage, and we put boys inside the cage. We teach boys to be afraid of fear. We teach boys to be afraid of weakness, of vulnerability. We teach them to mask their true selves, because they have to be, in Nigeria speak, hard man. <laughs> in secondary school, a boy and a girl both of them teenagers, both of them with the same amount of pocket money, would go out and that the boy would be expected always to pay to prove his masculinity. And yet we wonder why boys are more likely to steal money from their parents. <laughs> what if both boys and girls were raised not to link masculinity with money? What if the attitude was not the boy has to pay, but rather whoever has more should pay? Now, of course, because of their historical advantage, it is mostly men who will have more today. But if we start raising children differently, then in 50 years, in 100 years, boys will no longer have the pressure of having to prove this masculinity. But by far the worst thing we do to males, by making them feel that they have to be hard, is that we leave them with very fragile egos. The more hard man a man feels compelled to be, the weaker his ego is. And he was right that day many years ago when he called me a feminist. I am a feminist. And when I looked up the word in the dictionary that day, this is what it said. Feminist, a person who believes in the social, political, and economic equality of the sexes. My great-grandmother, from the stories I've heard, was a feminist. My great-grandmother did not know that word feminist. But it doesn't mean that she wasn't one. More of us should reclaim that word. My own definition of feminist is, a feminist is a man or a woman who says, <laughs> a feminist is a man or a woman who says, yes, there's a problem with gender as it is today, and we must fix it, we must do better. The best feminist I know is my brother, Kenne. He's also a kind, good-looking, lovely man, and he's very masculine. Thank you.